Hi, welcome. This is another update video. We have this SSD, Arc Linux Sardian Surfing. So it's on this SSD that I develop my icons. As you can see, it's uh, version 6.9.2, so it's a very old version. And we are now, uh, well, a few months later. So how do you update if you're coming from a version like this one, 6.9.2? Well, it's always the same. It's first update everything, right? And a scale and a PKSYUA. So let's get that out of the way. A lot of gigabytes, 2.8, almost 3 gigabytes and a terabytes, I must say, is going to be downloaded now, 2,000, 3,000 gigabytes. Okay, not terabytes. Would be way too much. <laughs> so we need to first update everything. Everything is going to be installed first downloaded so you see the speed is here that's okay it's what i expect it's what i paid for or some discussions on discord about speed it's important of course to get the speed that you've paid for and there is a little tool in here somewhere it's called net speed or something that's something um pop, 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 pop. speed test i think it was speed test cli so that's an, a neat little thing to test out your system. You have speed test. It's going to ping to Antwerp. Testing download, which is of course not correct since one well, no, of the downloads are finished. So we can do it. It will be more or less accurate. 128 should be normally 180. So probably when I don't have all these things installing, it may be maybe a little bit better. We can try later. So this is one of the tools we have installed on Arc Linux, speed test. And there's another one, CLI. And I believe it has some um, possibilities to tweak, so mum speed test dash CLI or dash H for help. And then you'll see what it can do. You can even post something and share it later on. So 1.8, so that's a normal number, this is 128. So this is what I've paid for. So that's super. I'm very happy with my service of internet service provider. So that's done. Update is, is clear. Um, the only thing I should do now, if I do PKSYUA, then I'll see whatever is coming in from the AR, which is going to be a lot like this slot, right? And there's still the command scale, but probably scale is an alias and the alias is not ready. It's not, not there yet. So it's an old, old version. So we need to manually go to the scale folder which is down here control h control a control c and copy paste everything over control v replace so everything that's in the scale the etc scale is now on my system plank doesn't like it so we just stop plank and start it again so that been done, that done, and then we go and check these two guys, we compare them, and you'll see everything that I've created in the meantime. So lots of aliases that have deleted, so the green stuff to the left should go, this one as well, pack hour is gone, that's old, yogurt is gone, that's old, there's a new bunch in, in, and that's it and this editor nano just stays here so this is the last thing how do i know the a skip trizen hw info microcode these are the last aliases so control a control c i'm gonna save this and this is my new bash rc now later on i do want to copy with the command scale so i'm gonna delete this guy i'm gonna save this so the older version of months ago is now a new version of today so that being said let's get some other wallpapers what wallpapers are these things no not one i like either no 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 so lots of choices that's variety for you this is neutral this is okay so that's done how to continue to update well pksy way right that's everything else Uh, let's first do a source bash rc 
like so. BKSYUA. Is it gone? If I, if I deleted something too much, that's possible. Let's go and have find out. So, well, yeah, you see me working with Nemo. So this is Sardi Surfer. So I work for Tunar and with Nemo, so the file manager of Cinnamon. So something must have gone wrong. So compare, let's have a look. Here you are, update. PTSYUA is not included. So now I have not forgotten anything. It really is now good. So I need to redo the action earlier. Control C and go to etc scale bash rc control a delete control v save change and then source it again or log out but i can't log out since i'm recording so source bash rc that's it so pk s y u a yay command is not found so it's a very old computer right so sudo mm, probably not Trizen is there, Trizen is there, so Trizen yay bin. Going to get that one, the bin version, which is faster to install. Almost installed. So that's what I mean with fast. So, PKSYUA is now working. And that's how you figure out these things. So that's that. And last but not least, you know we've changed to pacman.conf. So we need to go to pacman.com, that one. And it says here lots of lines, but we're missing a line. Now either I can go copy paste or I can write it. Nah, we're gonna copy paste, right? So Alex Linux hello is always a good way to start. And Alex Linux form, Alex Linux com. I showed it in the forum the other day, so I'm going to show it here. So mirror list is a good word. How to get your submicron wallpapers back. So this is what we need. Copy paste this one. Control C. And get everything over here till here. Control V. Save. That's that. So it's pointing now to a file and the file is not yet there. So, oh yeah, we can do an exercise. Update, all errors could not be read. Configuration file is not present, no such file. Sure there is, we just need to install it. After the mix, error list. So it's not here yet. Why is it not here yet? Because we did not do an update yet. So it's in the vicious, a vicious circle now. We can not have the mirror list because there is no a package mirror list and we can't get the mirror list because we don't have a mirror. So what you do is control Z, save and do an update again. Okay, everything loads up. And now you do pseudo pacman. Minus S on the Linux, mirror list, install that thing. And now we can say Control Z, Control Y, I guess, Control Y, save, set up the new list. We've just installed this file, etc pacman D on the Linux mirror list, it's installed and it's gonna change everything. Updates. Here we have a new submicron line here. So there you go, you are, you have an update and PKSYUA gives here as an issue here. Okay, well, no, probably because the mirror listing I broke this installation because we were changing pacman.com. So, control T, PKSYUA, and let it go. So there you are, and now it's going to build everything. So another wallpaper, nice old N, trash, trash. Actually like this one, so I'm gonna put it in view at deskcopper.co. I'm gonna click on the little cloud, and I need to log in of course, 
and then finally I'll have it. Now, preferred application is not that one, it's not Chromium, I rather like Vivaldi. So when I do this again, he's going to Vivaldi. He's on the second screen, which is okay. I'll just show you in a little bit when I've logged in. Let me first log in. Okay, I've logged in. Then again, view a desktopper. Close everything else, close other tabs, and then I can go over here. So that's what I do. Click, and that's it. It's now here, and it's also on Dropbox. Here you see Dropbox working. Here you say, hey, I've added this picture. That's the name that I just clicked here. So I say, if you do this, and you say, remove from Dropbox, Dropbox is going to remove it. And you deleted this, so it's no longer on my Dropbox. And again, it is on my Dropbox again. And there you go, it's again on my Dropbox. It's so easy to get wallpapers. I have about 1,500 or I don't know how many, 1,501 wallpapers. So a few gigabytes. In the meantime, Vivaldi is trying to do its thing here. So I'm almost up to date, meaning if that's done, all these things are done, then I go to my file system, etc, lsb release, tell to the system, yep, you are now 18.10.4, save, that's it. So next time I click on this thing, I am updated till that thing. Now there is some, we could do some cleaning up, it's not necessary, but there is this panel thing. So the XFCE panel switch is the old application, there's a new application, so everything will work, so there does no need to do this extra. But if you'd like, you do pacman minus R, XFCE panel switch, I think it was, XFCE 4, and then let's see, switch or panel switch. So I'm looking for the name. Okay, let's help help myself with XFCE or better not still switch, I think. I'm pretty sure it's switch or something. Ah yeah, XF panel switch. That's the name where I can actually delete it here as well. So apply, that's gone. Commit. I no application anymore but then we should get the other one which is um, xfce4 panel preferences or something let's see xfce4 panel profile so that's the this is from our from us meaning it's the the configuration what i need to find is this one number nine okay so Nine it is. Go install me this, and it's actually the same thing as the other one we just deleted. Another name, but it's probably going to be included inside uh, XFC, I think. So XFC panel switch is gone. So we should kick off and say, okay, it's that one. Okay, so now he knows profiles, and this is the same as the other thing. The other thing should be gone. Panel, panel switch, so this one should be gone when you restart your XFC. So, PKS by the way. No, still some stuff. Ah, it's a snapshot. This is an old application I see up here. So this thing can go, does not exist anymore. Finally, we are Linux eh, are admitted to NeoFetch, so it knows now out of the box what and who Arc Linux is and what logo we have. So we don't need this anymore. That was in intermittent to have this beautiful ASCII thing. So that can go by. So we don't see that one anymore. And PCMI is something I can delete as well. So the Pac-Man. Minus R, PCM, CR, something. 
there you go and the check look zero to I wouldn't know what that is but you're right check something okay so that's how we clean up everything up to date this is up to date and there you go we have a nice cup of tea and say we're all up to date cheers